Okay, so what is our character trait for this week? Yes. Oh, sir, yes. What is our character trait for this week? Yes. Ma'am? Respect, that's right, it's right over here if you guys forgot. Respect, and so I'm gonna read this book, it says, it's called Why Should I? And while I'm reading it, think about what are some reasons to show respect and empathy for others. Empathy is kind of like putting yourself in somebody else's shoes. <coughs> Not literally, but figuratively. What does figuratively mean? If I say this light is as bright as the sun, is that true? No. no. No, that's figurative language. It's when you kind of fancy it up to give examples or use like or as so that you kind of understand it. It was as windy as a tornado outside. It wasn't really, but you get more of a feel for how windy it really was. So figurative language means it's it kind of fancies up. Wait, which is the left? Is this the left or this is the left? Left is C and L, so this is the left. Okay. So figurative language kind of fancies things up. It also gives us um, words that sound like sounds. So like buzz, B-U-Z-Z. -Z. Doesn't that sound like buzz? Okay. Like it sounds like the, guy the word that the it's talking network. about. Buzz, do you mean like the hero buzz from Toy Story 3? I'm talking about the, the sound worst movie ever. a bee makes. He makes a buzz sound, and the word buzz sounds like what it's talking about, right? Oh, Same thing as plop. Plop. Oh, Isn't plop. that what a plop sounds like? Plop sounds like plop. Oh. Like, Sir, I'm going to need you to stop. Okay. So figurative language helps us to get our point across and sometimes we say it in like a little fancier way. So by saying, I put myself in your shoes, it means I just think about how I just think about how I would feel if I was in your life, in your position. I could put myself in your shoes sir, not looking at me. I could put myself in your shoes and say, oh gosh, what must it feel like to have been sick for five days and come back? I'm putting myself in his shoes. Or, oh my gosh, I can't imagine being the only boy in my family. Let me imagine and see what that feels like by putting myself in his shoes. What, what I would feel outnumbered, I would feel like I have nobody to play with, I would feel like all the girls kind of gang up on me. I don't know if that's true, but if I take a moment to pause and think about it, that's maybe some empathy. Maybe now I'm like, oh man, now I get it. Oh, that is kind of true. <laughs> but do you guys understand, that's what empathy is. So if somebody just lost their grandpa, would I be like, I don't care, like suck it up, stop crying. What? Or would I have empathy and put myself in that person's shoes and say, oh gosh, it must just be hard to wake up today and get yourself here and get through a lesson without crying, right? So do we all understand what empathy is? Yeah. yeah. Questions about empathy? No. No. Sure. Okay. So for our character trait today, respect. I hope you've been watching to see who's respectful so you know who to vote for on Friday. But respect, we have why should I? Wait, can I move my journal since I'm done? Do you know what you're writing? For your journal? Or you mean your diary? Yeah, diary. Go ahead. Thank you. Aaron didn't look after anything. He didn't look after his toys. He broke them all the time. You need to respect your toys, said Dad. I do. Me too. I can see. Aaron.
Aaron didn't look after his clothes. He never bothered to hang them up or put them away in the right places. You need to respect your clothes, said mom. If anyone asked him to be more respectful, he just muttered, why should I? Yeah, because you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't say, why should I to parents? And plus, what if everybody did that? Ooh. Aaron didn't respect other people's belongings either. When he wanted to play with Anish, Anish's pirate ship, he just took it. He didn't ask first. Even worse, he broke the sails on it. Anish was upset. He said Aaron should show more respect for other people's things. Why should I? But why should I? Later, Aaron wanted to borrow a book from Vanna. He ignored the do not enter sign on her door. He just walked in. Vanna was angry. She said Aaron should show more respect for other people's space. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. At school, Aaron saw his best friend, Junior. Junior told him that he was going to watch his first skateboard competition. He was very excited. But Aaron laughed at him and said skateboarding was silly. Junior was upset. He said Aaron was being rude. He said Aaron should respect other people's opinions and not laugh at them. And why are we laughing at his own friend? That doesn't even make any sense. I know. At recess, Aaron played with his ball, but he kept kicking it into the class garden. The ball knocked over everyone's pots. Uh, the plants spilled everywhere. Uh, Everyone was mad uh, at him, and they told Mr. Counter. What? Mr. Counter said Aaron should think about his behavior when he got home. But there's like his best friend. There's his best friend with the um, orange hat. Junior? Mm -hmm. Sad. Junior. Sad choices. They should smack Junior in his face. Junior, mm -hmm. didn't, he was the skateboarding no, the guy. guy. He didn't do anything. It's Aaron was upset. He didn't mean to make people mad. He especially didn't mean to make Junior sad. He went to talk to Grandma. Smack Aaron in the face like this. Her grandma's gonna be very mad. Her grandma's gonna whoop him. Aaron asked Grandma why people were angry and sad. Grandma said people wanted to be treated respectfully. Grandma asked Aaron how he would feel if someone broke his toys or laughed at the things he liked. Aaron thought about it. He said he wouldn't like it at all. He was sorry he hadn't treated people the way he would like to be treated. He said he would try hard to be more respectful. Don't try, do it. Don't try, Aaron. Just do it. I like that. The next day, Aaron played more carefully with his toys. He hung up his clothes. Aaron asked Anish first if he could play with his racing car. He knocked on Vanna's door first before going into her room. Yay! He said sorry to Junior for not respecting his opinions. He listened politely while Junior told the class about the skateboarding competition. He said it sounded like a lot of fun. Then Aaron said sorry to everyone in the class for knocking over their plants. He helped them plant them again. Everyone was pleased with Aaron for being more respectful. Aaron noticed that everyone treated him better because he showed more respect. Being respectful was much nicer. I told you, much better. Yeah, good job, man. Good job. Good. All right, there's a couple questions next. Yikes. We have to answer them all. Yeah, let's see. 
Can you tell the story of what happens when Ellie throws her ball against the neighbor's wall? Based on these pictures, what do you think? Can you retell or tell me a story that you think happens when she throws the ball against the neighbor's wall? There's three pictures. Who thinks that they can narrate the illustration? Oh, I'm 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 right here. That he's gonna knock down something. So what what's happening in this picture? Narrate the pictures for me. she kicks it, it gets their wall all dirty. It gets their wall all, all dirty, and are they happy? No, no and they, they, she has to clean it up. Yeah, because that's the respectful thing to do. No, if we no. make a mistake, even if it's an accident, we need to make it right, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you think her neighbor felt in the second picture? Mad. How do you think Ellie feels in the end? Happy. happy. Because she gets to play now. Yeah, because that's the dad of her friend. And now that she's nice and respectful, he lets them play together. Do you think if a parent thought, oh, that's not such a nice kid, that your parent would let you hang out with that kid? No. Probably not. Probably say, that kid's a bad influence. I don't want him hanging out with you. Why does he look like a mouse anyways? Does he look like a mouse? So we have to make good choices. All right, so for your journal, what are the, some reasons to show respect and empathy for others? Um, Line paper in the back of the room, name, number, date, title. What 